All right, you guys. So today we are going to get a look at the Star Wars Vintage Collection Imperial TIE Fighter. Very cool. Very excited to have this in hand, guys. We have it here today, guys. We're going to get a good look at it here today. So, of course, what we're going to do is examine the box. So let's go ahead and get a look at the box. Getting you a look at the box, we have an awesome picture of the TIE Fighter here with the pilot uh, sticking out of the cockpit there. Uh, we have a couple of stormtroopers uh, just for uh, dressing and uh, some boxes and material right here. So they do a really good job of dressing everything up and making it look uh, like uh, it's actually in a diorama type setting, which I really, really like. Uh, obviously, guys, if you follow the channel, you know I'm into dioramas. Uh, it even has some other background features uh, behind it as well. So really cool. Uh, we obviously have our Kenner symbol here, which is very awesome. Uh, vintage collection uh, logo right there. The Star Wars logo with the Star Wars banner around the picture. Really, really awesome. And then, of course, we have Disney, Hasbro, and then all of your other readables there on the front of the box. Uh, it also uh, carries with it the uh, Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia uh, original artwork from the original poster uh, from A New Hope or basically Star Wars. I love the front artwork here. We're going to get a look at the other sides of the box. All right, you guys, and getting you a look at the side of the box, we have Star Wars Imperial TIE Fighter. Very cool a illustration or a picture of the TIE Fighter. Uh, love the uh, interior. Uh, and, and then, of course, the uh, lid is very similar to the Solo uh, TIE Fighter. And we are going to get a look at the Solo TIE Fighter, put it up against this guy and uh, see what are the differences between the two. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this particular feature right here. Uh, you have your ejection seat uh with the figure so that is very awesome we're going to get a look at that as well underneath the box again we have some cool illustrations of the interior of the cockpit so you can see there's a lot of detail there uh we're going to get a good look at all of that here today guys and then of course we have the figure that is included with your vehicle which is really really awesome guys so really cool stuff and then for this side of the box uh, we get a look at the front of the tie fighter and the uh, firing missiles or cannons there uh, at the bottom. And then of course we have the opening hatch uh, right here uh, that is illustrated. And then on the top of the box, we have an illustration of the wings blasting off uh, per usual for our vintage TIE fighter. Uh, and then of course it shows that uh, it fits back into place uh, very nice and neatly. So that is also cool. The back side of the box is the same as the front side of the box, same. Uh, information and picture and illustrations and whatnot guys so really cool uh, always love the vintage style boxes uh, it's really nice stuff to look at we're going to get a look at the uh, tie fighter in its entirety we're going to pull it out of the box here today guys all right you guys so we've pulled her out of the box and guys i can tell you right out of the box this thing is huge now i didn't ever have a chance to collect the legacy tie fighter uh, which this could most definitely be a uh, a repack of that particular TIE Fighter. I don't believe that it is, um, but that's me without me actually having one in hand to compare it with. But um, I, I believe this one is more in line with the solo TIE Fighter that we received. However, it is much larger in scale. I really like the plastic on these particular wings right here. And I think it's gonna hold up really, really well. So my wings seem to be straight on the vintage TIE Fighter here. Um, so it's uh, really awesome, as I had mentioned, coming out of the box. This thing is absolutely so huge. To get you guys a closer look on the inside. You can see the seat, which is a ejection seat. It should come out and we will look at that. I want to get you guys a look at that side panel. I love the detail on the inside with the side panel there and I'm trying to not disturb the light so you guys can see everything. This really, really cool stuff. And then of course on the other side, 
we have more instrument panels behind the seat there. Got to give Hasbro kudos for the detail that they provided in there. Really awesome stuff. And then just to give you guys an idea of the scale of it, as compared to the solo tie that's right there. I mean, as you can see, just by looking at the wing, I mean, the wing itself towers over the complete solo tie. So just really, really massive vehicle. And then of course, down here we have the uh, Power of the Force TIE Fighter. I believe uh, it's a 95, if I'm not mistaken, if I have that correct. But as you can see, each of them are a bit of a different scale with this being the smallest, the solo tie being a bit larger than that. And then of course, this one, the vintage is just massive. Uh, and it could be a repack of the Legacy TIE Fighter. I'm not sure. The scale could be on par with the Legacy TIE Fighter, which I'm sure it is but just a massive, massive vehicle. And then for the back side of the tie, which is really cool. Again, it it is a very similar backing to the Legacy tie, which is really awesome. The Solo tie also has a similar backside as well. And then look, getting a look at our pilot. The pilot is also awesome, guys. Lovely detail. Even on the wrist there, you can see. So as you can see, there are some differences between the pilots. Uh, for instance, the pilot that is to the right is your Power of the Force pilot. Of course, the pilot in the middle is the Vintage pilot. And then the pilot right here to the left is a custom pilot. I took the pilot that came with the solo tie and stuck the uh, Han Solo, the young Han Solo head on it to recreate the deleted scenes from the solo film. But uh, most definitely that is the body for the solo TIE fighter. So you can see that you get a much shinier suit. Uh, you get a much different helmet with the silver streak going down the middle of the helmet there between the two Imperial symbols. It's really cool. You just get more gloss on this guy, right? More gloss. I think he's got different shoulders. The shoulders look different. He's just a different mold, period. All right, guys, so getting you a look at the cannons on the vehicle, they do extend out. And I've pulled them out there. You kind of see the green behind the red on the cannon there, but they do extend out, but they do not come all the way out. That, that's as far as they extend out and they do not shoot. You don't have firing cannons uh, like you do on the uh, solo version here. But they do extend out and then you see the little bit of green right behind it. All right, you guys. So getting you a look at the pilot on the inside. So really cool. He fits in this chair very nicely. Really cool stuff. Looks really good there on the inside. And then getting a look at the pilot through the window there. And I apologize for the glare. But there he is, guys, in the window. Really cool. All right, you guys. And getting you a look at the ejection seat with pilot. Really cool feature. Lots of detail in the ejection seat. You have controls, you have your lever there. He can actually grab the lever. The lever is not articulated, it is molded to the chair. 
but he can grab the handle. You have other instrument panels and whatnot. So really cool ejection chair. I don't know. I, I want to say this is kind of like a, like it's like a jet pack or something or a jet on the back of there. So maybe he can guide this around. That would be cool if he could fly this to, to safety to the ground. That would be awesome. I don't know if uh, that is possible. If that's uh, in the Star Wars canon lore in regards to TIE fighters, if they have ejection seats that have uh, jet packs on the back of them so the pilot can fly himself down to safety as opposed to parachuting down to safety. I don't know, but that's uh, it's interesting that it has this right here. I have to uh, research that. If anybody knows, please let me know. Put those comments down below. But really cool. As you can see, our uh, Thai pilot is fully articulated. Uh, he has the bend in the knees, elbows, uh, just fully articulated hands, twist at the uh, wrist there. So you, you're coming, you're getting a basically a vintage figure along with your vintage tie who is fully articulated and uh, is able to uh, be posed very, very well. Getting you a look at the ejecting wings. Very cool, very awesome ejecting wing. All right, you guys, and then getting you a straight up comparison to the solo tie versus the vintage. You could plainly see there is a huge difference in scale. Just massive. And then as far as stance, the solo tie is just a bit shorter than your vintage tie in in, in regards to the uh stance but uh as you guys can see there are some subtle differences uh, again the solo does give you uh firing cannons the vintage only has uh, the cannons that kind of pull out but they don't actually eject from the vehicle like they do with the solo vehicle. If you saw my review of the solo TIE fighter, you know that the solo TIE fighter wings do not eject off, but they do eject the cockpit portion of the vehicle. As you can see where it's kind of got that split right there, it splits right at that portion and exposes the cockpit and uh, everything. And it actually has battle damage uh, features on the inside so uh, if you want to take a look at that please go back and look at my playlist and check out my review of the solo tie so there it is guys the vintage tie again it is a really really awesome vehicle the detail is exceptional on the inside so really cool very very awesome vehicle but guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Will you be collecting the vintage tie? Put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father to the son to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost, may the Force be with you always.